So how do you determine the background temperature when you're taking an IR image and how can you enter it into your Fluke Thermal Imager? Well, background temperature is the temperature of the surroundings and this is going to affect your image a little bit or a lot. Oftentimes it's going to have little effect if your target is a very high temperature and has a very high emissivity, the background temperature is not going to affect it that much. But if you're in an area where the temperature difference is very low, and the emissivity is low, then the background temperature can be important. For example, if you're in a boiler room and you're taking an image of an electrical connection and you have a hot boiler behind you, that's going to set the temperature of the room relatively high in respect to the temperature you're measuring on the circuit breaker, so that can be an important measurement. To take the background temperature, first we can use the room temperature. If you're not quite sure that is and you say, well, what is the air temperature? You can take a, a sheet of paper and hang it up and then take the temperature of the paper after it's been in there for a while. Another thing is just take a background image of one of the walls if it's been at a stable temperature. And the third method is using an, a crumpled piece of aluminum foil. What this does is all the temperatures in the room are going to reflect off the little crinkles and you'll be able to see what the background temperature is because it'll all be kind of averaged out when they're reflected off the aluminum foil. The way we enter that is we would go into the menu, go into the measurement menu, select background temperature, and then we can enter in our background temperature. So that's how we can determine if we need to use the background temperature, what it is, and how we can enter it into our Fluke Thermal Imager.